Previously, we have answered questions like, what is 35% of 200? By saying that taking a percent of or a fraction of a number calls for multiplication. Therefore, 35% of 200 is what we get if we take 35% written as a number. We could say 35 one hundredths times 200. 35% of 200 is 35 hundredths times 200 is 70. And those are the only kinds of problems involving percents that we've seen. Because answering any other kind of question about percents involves algebra, whether you notice it or not. In fact, the arithmetic that we do with percents can be described by a formula. And the formula just embodies this arithmetic that we've done up here. Here I have P times B. P is the percent, but expressed as a number. B is called the base. It's what we're taking the percent of. And then A is called the portion. It's, it's what we get when we take that percent. So in the example that we saw above, 35% of 200 is 70. The result is 70. The percent is 35 hundredths, or if you prefer decimals, 0.35. And the base is 200. So when we said that 35% of 200 is 70, that's because in the percent equation, 70 is 35% times 200. Now the nice thing about describing this with an equation is that we're now prepared to ask questions about numbers other than the portion. So we can still answer questions like, what is 40% of 80? 40% is clearly the percent, so we'll take 0 0.40 for our percent. It says percent of 80, so 80 is the base. And we want to know the amount. So we say A is 0 0.4 times 80 is 32. What is 40% of 80? 32 is 40% of 80. But we can also answer questions like 40% of what number is 80? So. 40% is again our percent, but now it says percent of what number? So the base, what we're taking the percent of, that's what we want to find out. The result of taking that percent then gives me 80. So that's the amount. So now we'll have the equation 80 is 40% of B. To get B by itself now, we need to divide by 40%. And we get, this looks like a job for the calculator, 80 divided by 0.4 is 200. 40% of what number is 80? 200. And, uh, okay, 
what would it look like if we were trying to find the percent? We would say 40 is what percent of 80? So in this problem, we see really clearly that instead of being told the percent, we're being asked what the percent is. Percent of 80, so the base is 80, and then the portion, the result of taking our unknown percent of 80, is 40. So now our equation is 40 equals our unknown percent times 80. We could write that as 40 is 80 times our unknown percent. Divide by 80 and we get 0 0.5 equals our unknown percent. Converting that to a percent, we get 50%. 40 is 50% of 80. Notice that in these three problems, even though I started out with the same two numbers, I got totally different answers because I was asking totally different questions about them. That's to be expected. Notice the method. First we identified the percent because that's really easy to identify. Then we identified the base by saying what are we taking this percent out of? And finally, we identified the portion as whatever the story was about, as the result of taking that percent.